What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day Blind. In the last episode, we went to this, I don't know, some underground prehistoric era place. We hatched a dinosaur and then sacrificed it, and now we find ourselves in a club with stone people, and Conquer is having a great time jamming out. However, at the end of the last episode, we were rather intoxicated and had quite a bit of trouble moving around, so I'm glad to see that upon reloading the game. Conquer is able to freely move again, which should make things a little bit easier. So, what I had identified last time was there's a rock over here that I want to try to move onto that switch. And yes, it seems a lot more doable like this than if I were, first of all, very sluggishly moving, and then when moving, occasionally stopping to throw up. So, I'm very glad that I was able to do this. I guess, um, flashing lights, strobing warning, because it's, uh, it's pretty intense. So far, at least. Alright, come on, Conquer. This is your workout for the day. Or at least the first one, right? All this, this whole story takes place over the course of 24 hours. Okay. So we've done that. Can we go in here? Probably. What do we find in here, though? Oh! Do we, do we fall up? Wait, what? <laughs> what is going on? We've got to be in a different section? No, we, so we went under there, and now we're on top of where Barry is, right? Okay, certainly a surprise. We'll keep on moving around, I guess. And we have ourselves... Huh. So, now what is the question? So I have to bring another rock person up here, presumably. I think that's the... the the lesson to be had from here. And what's also kind of interesting is, didn't I take fall damage from essentially falling up? Is there gonna be another rock over in the corner? No. Okay, so then where am I gonna get my next rock, right? Am I gonna get it from hitting one of these people? Doesn't seem like that's gonna be the solution. But we'll figure it out. This person is going over and doing a whole bunch of different things. Hmm. How about you? Nope. Not you guys. Can I just like start pushing you? <laughs> and hope that it works? Doesn't seem like that'll uh, be very effective. How about you? Nope. Alright, last attempt is gonna be the bodyguard. The bouncer. Can we, can we roll you up? Okay. Well, then I'm not really sure where else... I guess one other question is, will this stay? Oh, so this isn't even an option anymore. I don't think I can move this. No, I can't. Alright, well that's good to know as well. So I really am going to just have to find something completely new. Somehow. So I'll heal up briefly. I, I will say, the music is good. I don't mind spending a decent amount of time here. That's pretty ridiculous that we take fall damage just for showing up here. But I don't see any more of those stone people that I could roll, right? And I don't think I was able to leave either. Hmm. I'm sure that the whole point is I need to bring the the stone ball or whatever into that area so it falls, and then um, once I do that, then I can try to roll it across here, but I need to be wary of the timing of these guys. I think that's the end goal, but, but I'm really not seeing how I'm going to make that happen.
Is there something? What could it be? I didn't see any sort of context sensitive panels or anything like that. That's certainly not one. Is there some place I could like hover to? Maybe into Barry's little cage area? Hey, do you recognize us? We're here to rescue you. Hmm. Well, can't really see that well from this angle. But this is all I can think of. Maybe these guys? Can I, can I pick him up? Doesn't seem like it. What about these guys? If I run into them? Anything? No? Okay. Then is there a hidden component? I guess maybe this is where I need to use my contact sensitive button. I don't see what doing this does though. Well, I mean, I see what it does. But I don't see what good it does for us in terms of making any progress. What? Do you guys see this? Is Conker just like peeing? What? Is that what he does now when you attack? He just pees all over? <laughs> what? What is that madness? All right, all right, Conquer, put it away, put it away. We gotta figure out how, how this can be beneficial at all. Um, I mean, off the top of my head, all I can think of is we pee on people, and these guys don't seem to mind at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that really does anything for us, though. Maybe. Oh my goodness, Conquer, get it together. Maybe we just pee on these guys? That's our way of attacking? Wait, why aren't you peeing anymore? Did I, did I run out of it? <laughs> Do I need to drink more? I'll go back and see. But if we really have to conserve our, our urine, Wow. Alright, well, we're almost there. Can we drink more? No? Do I have to wait a certain amount? Now, whenever I hit the, the B button, he's not... <laughs> what? He's not peeing. Was that supposed to happen? Oh, no, guys. I have no idea what to do. Why did the peeing not happen last time, but it did happen this time? Can I not drink anymore? I'm on the contact sensitive button, and I'm hitting just about everything the game could want me to press. I don't know. So now I'm thinking, what, what can we do as Drunk Conquer, period? But also, how could potentially peeing play a role? Is it no longer possible because we've already done it in the way that was necessary, or what? You can walk up to these guys, punch them. Doesn't really do much for us. Do we need to peel off one of these guys, or what? Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the music. <laughs> this guy? No. Maybe that random guy over there? Oh no, and this is the thing, it's literally gonna take me like a minute to walk across the entire club because Conker just stops to throw up all the time. 
We're punching him. And getting punched as a result. Why can't I do anything? Oh, man. Maybe there's a context-sensitive button that'll show up, or an interaction I can only have when drunk? That's the only thing I can think of. But it's not like I can really platform much while like this. Can we talk to this guy? See what's going on? Here to help me out? Can I leave, please? I can't even leave to like reset my drunkenness. It's got to be useful for something. All right, we're gonna we're gonna speed run and fall off the ramp there. <laughs> and I guess we'll head up to that higher elevation now. I don't anticipate being able to do much differently up there, but I guess we can head over to that switch and see if anything happens. Maybe the challenge isn't rolling something past those stone women, but instead trying to walk past them yourself, given that you're moving a lot more slowly as drunk and conquer. Maybe that's the case. Is this context sensitive? Nope, can I pee? Nope. Alright, well, we'll keep on moving. Whenever Conqueror feels like not vomiting in the middle of the club. There's another one. Another one, Conquer, really? Literally took like two steps. How about in here? No. Nothing context-sensitive there. I must be missing something obvious. Or maybe not, because this hasn't been an uncommon occurrence in this game. Is there anything else? Maybe... Hmm... I don't know, guys. I'll try to fall back to where Barry is and see if we can interact with her like this. And maybe that'll be helpful. But at the moment, that's really all I can think of. And if that doesn't work, I'll probably just look up what I need to do because uh, as much as I like this music and as creative as this environment is, I'm not trying to stay here for a good, you know, hour or so. And that doesn't even cure my, my drunkenness. Yeah, I don't know then, guys. I can't think of anything, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so apparently... I'm gonna need some chocolate, but also I'm gonna need to pee on one of these guys? I don't know why I can't pee now. For whatever reason. <laughs> it's just not... it's not happening. But also, apparently, there's a first aid box. I don't really know how I can get it. I think this is it. Oh, there's a ramp here. So I think what I need to do is, if I want to pee again... <laughs> I need to do this. Sober up so I can get drunk again. <laughs> just chucks the glass behind him. Okay, and now that I'm sober again, I can probably get drunk again. However, what I want to do first is eat some chocolate because I think we're really low on health, if I recall correctly. And I don't think that'll fare very well. Yeah, we only have one chocolate piece. So if we just go up towards that other switch again, we're gonna die. And I don't see any chocolate respawning around here. Which is a real shame. So, we're gonna die. <laughs> I'm still shocked that that would give fall damage, but that's alright. We'll live with it for now. 
Yeah, so I don't know why they decided to have the, the urine run out. <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but it's, it's whatever. Um, we now know that we basically need to do this so that we can pee on somebody. And what we need to do is pee on specifically one of the, the stone guys so that he will ball up into, well, a ball. And then after doing that, we've got to push him through and, and do all that jazz. So we're going to choose this guy who's close to this opening. <laughs> who's having a grand old time. So we got a little bit of pee. And, oh, we got absolutely bodied. <laughs> so let's hope we can push him with our, with our stream here. The little zipper effect is hilarious. Oh my. <laughs> that is really interesting. He's almost there, Conker. <laughs> That's hilarious. What a hilarious concept. Okay, so now that we've done that, I think we're good. And we can uh, sober up a little bit with this tonic water. What? It sounded like he unzipped his pants again. The pants he's, you know, not wearing. Unzipped his sweatshirt, I guess, right? <laughs> okay, so now that we have that, we have another rock that we can work with, and we'll head on up and get that second switch. We still take damage. What? Seriously, was my depth perception that far off? Oh, man. All right, we'll slide back on up, take another chocolate bar of damage, and I guess um, I wanted to jump over on this side of him. I'll very carefully hug the wall there. Now, we need to do this in a way that we don't get absolutely bodied by... Oh, no. Oh, so if he does so if he does fall off, we're gonna have to re-pee on him. Which means we're gonna have to get drunk again. And we're gonna have to waddle over, throw up a bunch along the way, and then push him in, and then do all that again. Yeah, so we're skipping that cutscene. The smiley face that Conker has on is pretty funny. All right, let's give it a go, Conker. Oh man. I guess we got a little bit too close first. But I feel like we're gonna be too far away this way. Oh, no, 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 that's too far that way. It's too far. All right, all right, we're gonna have to readjust. What are you doing, Conker? Oh. All right, well. We'll, we'll be okay for now, although he's probably, he's so far away. Yeah, so, I don't know, we gotta ki ki kind of push him this way and hope that it works. I wonder if I'll, like, run out while doing this, right? Or is it just every time I stop, there's a chance I don't have any more? Nope, looks like I'm out. So he's gonna come over and slug us. We're gonna go, yep, sober up real quick so that we can take another chance. That's right, we don't need to see the cutscene again. I feel like we got a pretty good handle on what happens in that cutscene, as well as this one. Let's head on over again and hope that he's close enough to the door. And then we'll need to carefully, very carefully push him across so that these these ladies don't push him off. But look at how far he is from the door. Maybe what am I what am I supposed to do while he's there? Right? Like, I guess I guess I can do this. And maybe push him away a bit. Like that. And then, I don't know if he's gonna actually get all the way in there. Conquer, stop! 
Why do you keep doing that? <sighs> For those of you that don't know, I mean, normally I hit the B button again and he just stops. But when I hit the B button there, he just like stopped for a second and then started again and and I don't know now we're now we're out of it great so we got to do this again oh boy and we're now what 20 20 something minutes into the episode and we're still working on on peeing on a rock <laughs> what a game what a game And I desperately need chocolate, so we'll grab that real quick while we're sober and can move a little bit more quickly. Okay, let's give it a go again. And I guess I'll just really have to commit when I start peeing because for some reason just wasn't willing to cooperate with me and stop and start again. I was thinking I could start peeing and then push him towards the door and then walk up to him so that he hits me and then I can start to pee again from there, but I don't want to have to wait for him to walk towards, I don't know, the door where he was the first time we got him. Right? Maybe... I don't know, maybe I can do this? I don't want to miss though. I guess um, maybe I can bait him into attacking me or something by coming over this way. Maybe I'll bait him over here. You gonna move? Well, I mean, I mean, I guess that might be a little bit better. Like really a little bit. Okay, he's moving. Come on, conquer. I guess we can line up our shot. What are you doing? I guess we can line up our shot pretty well here. No! Or, you know what? That's okay. I guess. Wait, why is he not peeing? Hello, Conker? Do you wanna... Do you wanna use your urine? Why is this not working? All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna edit until I finally get this again because this is this is pretty obnoxious. Okay, for some reason, it's probably like timer based, like he'll only pee within a certain amount of time of drinking the beer, and after that it's just not an option for some reason. So I don't know, but either way, no, don't, I'm trying to, can I not use the tonic until I've exhausted all of my pee? Oh my goodness, that's totally the case, isn't it? Alright, well, empty it all out, Conker. I'll wait. <laughs> really? There we go. Now can I do the, the tonic? Please? I'll walk away a little bit further to, to reset it, I guess. Conker's gonna walk back when he's finally not throwing up. Okay. Here we go. Let's hope we don't screw it up and then spend another half hour <laughs> trying to get a rock up there. All right, we'll take it very slowly, I guess. Wait for this lady to, oh, all right. Almost, almost. You can go on forward and then when you start going back is when we'll move. On your mark, get set, go. Nice. That timing was a little bit tighter than I expected, actually. So, we will get ready 
And let's go. Come on, conquer push. There we go. Okay. So we've done that. Now we are going to very carefully jump down here so that we don't take any more damage than necessary. And I should actually note, is there any more chocolate around here? Because when we go through these doors on the left and right, if we go somewhere that's going to damage me when I fall, it could be pretty not good. But I guess we'll see. There you have it. So we took some damage, and I don't see an immediate, I don't know, next move to make. All I can think of is, we'll try this one, I'll probably die, but I don't have any other chocolate to access, so. So the ones on the left and the right, they fall on that area. But I don't see another use for... Oh, we're almost at a game over. Yikes. I still can't move these. Oh, wait, what? Are you kidding me? Do I have to redo that? Because the doors aren't open. Oh my goodness. I totally have to redo that and then I have to put one of the rocks in there. And I'm pretty sure this other guy has to go in there. I don't know why yet, but I'm sure that's what happens. Okay, guys. Okay. I know what we gotta do. I'm gonna fast forward. This is admittedly pretty funny. <laughs> that was really funny, actually. Okay, so we've opened up the side doors, and now I believe it's time to push uh, more of them, more of these guys into those doors, so let's hope we can line up our shot pretty well, and darn it. Okay, well let's, let's try again. I think we got a pretty good lineup here. Oh, nope, I guess not. I guess not. Alright. No, stop. Go away. Stop doing that, Conker. Get out of there. Get out of there. Run, run, run. We're gonna have to sober up again so we can take another shot. Luckily, at least we didn't take damage from getting hit. Conker, please stop. Please stop doing that. Oh, uh, have I not exhausted my urine yet, I guess? I guess we'll do that then. Alright, that's gotta be it. Alright, let's try it again. I must say, I know you guys can tell from the way I'm talking, but this is this has been the least enjoyable part of this entire game. <laughs> what initially started as a really interesting, really funny, really cool room with good music and stuff has become tedium like no other. All right, go on. So there's one. And he just got completely obliterated. All right, I guess. Oof. Aiming with this guy. We've really got to go quite a ways away. And he's moving even further? 
it's making the shot even more difficult. Well, I mean, we'll give it a go. No, 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 not that way, not that way. Come on. Come on, Conker. I can't, I'm not even able to reach him now. All right, well, we'll run from him, I guess, because he's inevitably gonna come over to slug us. Now's not the time to feel woozy. Yep, there he is. And I think we're in the clear. Can we sober up now? Yep, so we can try again. And there's the second one. All right, let's see what happens. Gotcha. So we free Barry and supposedly some cash as well. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta protect those ears, and I'm no longer drunk. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for that. We'll heal up briefly, and then we can just go through one of these doors, and we'll be in the clear. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't make me uh, walk over to the tonic and everything again. So we'll take our cash and leave. It's been a while since we had a new one of those dialogue options. Oh, that's right, I took damage from that high up. But, okay, I don't think there's much else to do in this area, right? I feel like we've explored every bit of ground there is to cover. We got the bouncer, don't forget the cash. <laughs> See you, Dad! <gasps> Where do you think you're going with that? What? The money. Oh, uh, I'm following her! I don't think so. Uh-oh. I think you need to see the boss. Okay! The boss? That can't be good. Wait, what? Well, this is the fella. Uh, half me. Barry? This is the wise guy that tried to steal my dough. What do you got to say for this, <laughs> boy? Um, what? Oh, hey. Hey, Barry, how you doing? Me. Do you know this tea leaf? Yeah, like I'd associate with a caveman. <laughs> what does that Take the hat off, Conker. Like, is it okay if I go now? I gotta go powder my nose. Get out of here. Wait. Let's get back to business. I just got one thing to do. I'll be with you in a minute. People gotta show the appropriate levels of respect. When they step out of line, they can expect to be respected back. One of you guys has shown no respect. <laughs> Who it is? What is going on? Could have been Frankie. Could have been Sicho. Could have been Polly. What? You don't you ever do that again to me? Yikes. So this is some sort of like mob boss type godfather maybe? Uh, I don't know. You know, you can have the money. I, I bet I've got more money. You can have that too. <laughs> Conquer. You can keep the money, but you gotta do me a little job first. Oh boy. A job? Oh, yeah, cool. I, but I mean, you know, I'm gonna have to, I'll have to consider it first, but I mean, what is it? What, what I have to do? Good, good. I'm glad you accepted it. Conker's just like reading the room, you know? Okay. A bomb? Plan. We got ourselves a little problem. In fact, several little problems. You already got the disguise, so that's that one going. What else you need? Is one of these. It's called a bomb. <laughs> these are the problem. Where they came from, I don't know. They seem totally out of place in this ecosystem. But they're here and they're on my patch. So, 
What I propose that you do is use your disguise acumen. Take the bomb through here, down here, out of here, and drop it here. By the way, when that bomb goes off, I suggest you leave town. And if you don't pull it off, I suggest you leave town. <laughs> and if you don't pull it off, I suggest you leave town. That's actually hilarious. Okay, so we can move around. Let's get going then. Are we timed right now or what? I don't know. There are quite a few of these guys though. I, that mob boss scene was actually hilarious. I enjoyed that quite a bit. What happens if I fall with this? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what happens if I fall. So I guess I'll take the long way around. But yeah, it's funny that he said, like, you guys are, you know, they just seem out of place in this ecosystem. And it's this sort of, like, you know, prehistoric environment, right? I, arguably, the mob boss in the suits and ties are the most out of place in this ecosystem. Just kind of funny. Alright, so we'll head in here and keep on going. I think we'll be able to make it by here. I wonder what happens if we get hit. I don't know. What? Oh, wait, no. I, I thought... Oh, am I going to have to start all the way? Wait, I got a game over. Mm. Yes. Much better. I got a game over, guys. What I was going to say is, I thought the snot was in the background. And, and then it came down from the ceiling, contrary to what I expected. And I was like, wait, I thought that was in the background. Oh, wait, there's nothing there. And then all of a sudden it came down from the ceiling. And sure enough. Well, this time we'll try falling off the ledge, because we presumably have a couple lives, worst case scenario. Um, you know, things just take a little bit longer again. Alright, well there's my answer. <laughs> you end up dying if you walk off the ledge, so you do need to be a little bit more delicate with it. I'm glad I tried it though, because it would have saved quite a bit of time, had I been able to do so. I'd imagine if I get hit, I'll blow up as well, so try to avoid that for the time being. I just walk in behind these guys. <laughs> Takes a lot to intimidate Conker, though. Conker's kind of a guy, you know, who doesn't really take anybody's crap. He doesn't listen to any of the rules. And that mob boss, that mob boss told him how it was. All right, let's not get attacked by the, the lava, the magma, whatever it may be. Keep on walking in. At first I thought as well that maybe things were clogged up again and I would need to redo the, uh, the pepper in the nose to clear things up. So I think we're all right walking past this one. And if things go how they did last time, we should be on cycle to just keep going through. What about over here? I think we're in the clear. Okay, what about here? I, again, I think we should be in the clear. Okay. So we made it through there. Lovely. And this music, though. And here we are. Oh! So we're gonna make the the volcano rise and that's not good. Contact sensitive button. Contact sensitive button. We gotta go, Conquer. I can't tell my depth at all, but this should do the trick. This reminds me of that escape from Paper Mario. I don't know if you guys, I mean, those of you who played Conquers probably played quite a few of the top N64 games, but Lava Lava Island, I think, is what it's called. Reminds me of the escape from the erupting volcano. Did you make it out in time, Conquer? I wouldn't rest easy just yet. Could we be now then? Uh oh. Oh, hi. 
Yeah, I don't think they were too happy about that whole bomb you placed. They took our cash. I recognize that money. Oh no. What is the world coming to? When a squirrel can't even go to a dinosaur themed world without getting mugged by a bunch of prehistoric brats. Oi, give me my money back. Back to the moon, moon, moon. What? <laughs> They're mooning us? That's hilarious. <laughs> I just hope the one that has the cash doesn't fall into the lava. Oh, we've got a race coming up. <laughs> it's so funny, they have like that specific language and all of a sudden, let's go. This reminds me of Star Fox Adventure. Right. Time to teach those gyro spathers a lesson. Alright, I mean, I don't know what expertise Conquer has in racing of, of any sort, but we'll do what we can, I guess. Should I... How do I... I... I think I go through here, and then I'll emerge here. Why Why would they do that? That's so counterintuitive, but... Alright, we're boarding. And it's fairly responsive, actually. We've got a dinosaur there. This is pretty cool. Wait, what? Okay, I guess I have to jump there. I thought even though it was an, an incline or a slope, I could still make it, but... Not the end of the world, I guess. So we'll jump here. What? No! I hit jump! And that's gonna be a game over. I can't imagine it's uncommon to game over on this particular segment. Given the races any bit of, you know, length, there are going to be a few moments where I will have a tough time reacting and really need to know in advance what I need to do in order to not die. Alright, we'll jump. And that seemed to be enough, so lovely, lovely. We'll try our best not to crash here. And not get run over by the dinosaur. Lovely, lovely. Okay, things are going fairly well so far. Oh, wait. So, there's the cash, which means I think that marked one full lap. So, actually, the race isn't as long as I expected, meaning it's not going to have as many twists and turns that I think that are unpredictable. This dinosaur is inevitably at one point going to be an obstacle that I need to avoid, but otherwise, the, the race is not too incredibly difficult. But it does mean that... I get hit as I say that. Um, it does mean that I'm going to have to do a few laps before I can jump up off that ramp in order to get the money. So, that's lap one. Oh, I get, okay, if I touch anything, I take damage. The real question is, when does the race end? Oh, I didn't jump. I got distracted <laughs> just talking to myself. Because I can't see any of the other racers, right? So, I'm th I was thinking maybe if I lapped them or something, but maybe I just need to successfully make it through a few laps, and that'll be it. At the moment, that's all I can really think of, so, I mean, obviously it's what we're going to work with. This, uh, <laughs> this is a really responsive control. There's a little, like, swirl going on there. Yeah, is that, I don't know if that's, like, a hidden path or not. Am I supposed to do something special with that? To find that path? I don't know. Jump. You gotta jump a little bit further in advance than I would normally like. Are things gonna change from lap to lap? No, I don't think so. At least not yet. Right? Because now we're, now we're on our third lap. The only thing I can think of is... What if instead of continuing to go around this... I turned there? Right? And so instead of just continuing along with the lap, I turn to where the, the dinosaur is moving. Right? Because that could be another part of the track. Navigate between there. I feel like I'm missing something. Like a part of the track that I'm just not exploring. Right? Doesn't it feel that way to you guys too? 
I mean, we're going through all this, but there was that area that was gated off and had the chocolate and... I don't know. We're surviving and all that, but... How would I access that area? How do I go through there, right? Those are the things I'm wondering about right now. And I'm not having a lot of luck. Do I need to... I gotta switch it up. Because there's no way... Oh, that was a game over already. I was gonna say, I think this is a different game over cutscene, so let's take a look. So... Did you get him? Yes, we got him. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, we'll play again. So yeah, let's let's experiment with some different stuff because I think we were on maybe like four or five laps at that point. What happens if I go to the left here? That's what happens if you go to the left. So we've confirmed that that is not an alternative route that I could go on. So good knowledge, good knowledge. We will try going to the left here. To no avail. We'll try going to the right next. Because again, I don't... I don't see much else that we can really work with. To the right? Okay! <laughs> Interestingly enough, that confirms that we only see like half of the dinosaur at any given point. Which is pretty funny. But yeah, I don't know, I mean... It doesn't feel like I'm making any progress, just going around the same course five times in a row. But I can't think of much else, so I guess it's what we'll do. So interestingly enough, I think, yeah, if I, uh, I was gonna try and see what was on the right side of that there. Um, if I hold forward, I can go faster. So maybe I just haven't been going fast enough and thus n am not catching up with the rest of them. Because no, note that we're clearly on a different cycle this time around, right? Yeah, so that's the key. I need to be accelerating by holding forward in order to actually catch up with them. The question is going to be, do I take them out? Like, do I run into them? Or what? I don't know. At the very least, it kind of confirms that there isn't an alternative route I need to be taking, and instead... I just need to be going fast on the current one, which is what we'll do. Um, for some reason, we had a really easy time, oh man, catching up to them, but then a really difficult time overtaking them. And I don't think my driving has been that sloppy. But it seems like this race will just continue until we pass all of them or get rid of all of them. Oh, I can attack! I can attack while I'm still surfing. Oh man. What? No, no iframes or anything? Okay, so I guess that's the plan. We have to get close to them and then attack them. And presumably, we can only get close to one of them at a time, and then after we take them out, we'll be able to get close to the next one. So that part's obviously the most difficult. We're getting pretty close now. Come on. Plus 433. Oh, that's because that's one third of the money that we had at the moment, I think. So now we're going to be able to get up close to the second one. What's funny is because we just got some of our cash back, we're still, uh, we have a bunch of money coming out of us. We're catching up to the next one. I think there are three of them in total. Mm, plus 866. Yeah, there's, there's the next one. I wish I didn't take all that damage at the beginning. <laughs> because now it's I'm just one hit away from, you know, messing it up. Oh, and so there's the switch. So we're switching up tracks. Throwing a little bit of a curveball, but that's fine for now. Hit him. Luckily, we got that chocolate. We don't die there, which is lovely. And now, I don't think I need to really race ahead that much. Now I think I can actually get that cash. Yeah. So we got that cash, and I think now we're treated to a lovely cutscene. Whoa. Are we in a are we in a coliseum of some sort? What? 
So that, that race was a pretty good experience. But what is going on here? Did I see some conquer signs? Are people actually cheering for us? Ah, yeah. This is more like it. An appreciative audience at last. Somebody's pleased to see me. <laughs> hey, yeah, I know. I'm great. Yeah, hey. Oh. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> a pretty stab shot. Split your leg. Oh. Ooh, bleedy bleedy. <laughs> Those jiggle physics, though. Big boner. <laughs> oh, it's I. My hello there. Square verges. Fangy. Oh boy, so it seems like we're gonna have a boss battle here. Hmm. Not quite sure what's going on here, but there seems to be a door over there. <laughs> So I think I'll just move on over and uh, say my so Conquer, I don't think that's your exit. I think that's something else's entrance. <laughs> well, I think we're pretty low on health. <laughs> Obscenely low on health. So, before going over there and triggering what's inevitably a boss fight, we're going to heal up a little bit platform shaking a little bit not too big a problem can we jump up over there or we gonna have to talk to these guys take these guys out I don't know conquer was indicating we should probably head over in this direction so we'll hit him oh hi um you're going this way too I take it yeah <laughs> I'll just wait here and follow you guys I don't get the impression those guys are going to be surviving very long, Conker. I think they're bait more than anything else. Knowing this game, it's going to be some, like, tiny little puppy. Oh. Even though it sounds so intimidating. Doesn't sound good. Okay, not quite the puppy I expected. <laughs> well, that doesn't look too good for our friend Conker. Wow, that is quite gory for the N64. <laughs> Conker's face just like, no, no. Oh, it's not the time. I got a scoop. All right, so we need to fight this guy. And uh, it doesn't seem like the frying pan is doing anything. I think I saw a contact sensitive button out of the corner of my eye here. Which brought out a pocket watch, which was not at all helpful. Um. Maybe we need to bait him into attacking the other cavemen? Or what? I don't know. I mean, there's the context-sensitive button, right? So let's, let's try and hit one of these guys. And make it so that they are eaten. And while they are being eaten, we will go with the context-sensitive button. At least these guys don't attack me. Can I pick him up? No? Okay, am I just far enough that he's not going to attack me, or what? Where is he? There he is. And then the shadow came in. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's pretty funny. Alright. Is he tracking me? Yeah, it looks like it. You can deal with that guy. So I don't really know... Oh! We're hypnotizing him? That's the answer here? We're hypnotizing? <laughs> I 
Oh, Conquer. <laughs> Impromptu hypnosis of a dinosaur so that you can tame it and ride it. Absolutely hilarious. Alright, well, I guess we'll attack these guys. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, what do we do after we take all these guys out? We jump out there? I gotta see. I mean, it seems like these guys keep coming back. Do we take them all out? I thought we did. So, yeah, they must be coming back. Yeah, they are. So, maybe context sensitive button again? It's so funny that he, like, doesn't even care, you know? It's like, I'm here for entertainment, whether it's the person I expected to get killed and eaten by the monster, or, you know, them hypnotizing the dinosaur and killing the people that are, well, you know, my own people. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we, I don't think we did anything special to earn that cutscene, so I think we just need to take out a certain number of these guys. And we'll earn another cutscene, I guess. So we pick this guy up. What do we do with him? <clears throat> the infantry? Uh oh. They're bringing in the infantry, guys. Oh, don't like the look of this. I think they're sending in the big boys. <laughs> <laughs> they're so funny looking. They're so derpy. Alright, well, it looks like we've got quite a few enemies to defeat. And these guys will actually be attacking us. Yeah, questioning all of your life choices that led to you ending up in this position. Reasonable thought process. <laughs> There's always one. Taunt the squirrel by mooning him. That's hilarious. keep running we still just have this guy in our mouth while we're attacking all the others oh is that a triple kill it looked like it oh they take more than one hit is that a quad no come on how many hits is it gonna take maybe I maybe I have to swallow each of them There we go. I just kind of stood still for a bit. More blood and guts. I mean, yeah, it's happening. If I hold down B after doing so, should be okay. Come on. Now at least we have some drumming in the background, which is nice. <laughs> Their poor screams. <laughs> Reminds me of the cheese. What? Aw, oh, man. Don't tell me we have to re-hypnotize our friend. We can just jump on him again, please. Oh man. Alright, alright, we gotta re-hypnotize him. Please? Can I skip this? Alright, I think he's hypnotized, and we can ride him now? What? Okay, or not, I guess. Oh, man. 
So I took one damage for getting knocked off of the dinosaur. Then I get a hit of damage for getting bitten by the dinosaur, which then leads to another hit of damage for getting thrown by the dinosaur. Lovely, lovely. All right, we'll bait him like that, and then we'll head back to the contact sensitive button, wherever it is, in the center, yeah, okay. So we'll do this, so you're like that, and now you'll run at us this way, and we can do this. I think you're close enough, and it looked like last time we got him to fall asleep. Maybe I just needed to wait longer, but it looked like he fell asleep and we would be able to jump on him. Right? Like... Because it looks like then he comes to his senses. Yeah, that's so weird. Because it looks like he comes to his senses, he falls asleep, and then he comes to his senses, and then wakes up and attacks us. So it makes me think that we are supposed to jump on him during that time period where his head is down. You know, like he's, like he's asleep. Like he's hypnotized. So, we'll try that again. And hope for the best. What is with Conquer making you redo all of these things so frequently? Alright. So he's moving back and forth. And... He's asleep. Okay. So we're gonna do that. And we... Okay. It worked that time. Lovely. Now the infantry, there are... Oh, we have five more of them? Okay. So every time we get knocked off, potentially, we're gonna have to do that. So I guess I'll I'll hit these guys just for the sake of um, I don't know making some space. I guess we'll eat this guy and we move a lot faster than them, like a lot faster. I think even though I can't move the camera to make sure we're far enough away, I wanted to just run away and then chow down. Come on, all right. And we'll take another one. Wait, I thought there were only like five of them, but I guess there are six. All right, chow down. Now run on back. This seems to be a much safer strategy. At least we have music this time. During the beginning of the, the fight, I was like, wait a minute, why is there no music? It's so anticlimactic. All right, one left. Presumably, I mean, there'll be like one last dinosaur or like one big bad guy we gotta fight too. Nope, just more infantry, I guess. Ranged combat. Now this could be a bit tricky. Ranged combat? Well, I mean, we'll... We'll get them as soon as we can. Are they throwing javelins at me? Is that the ranged combat they're talking about? That's what it seems like. I mean, realistically, when I get close enough, they just run away like crazy. So... Now we'll, uh, come on, we'll run away. At least, I mean, they say ranged combat, but you guys saw the trajectory of those javelins, right? That was not very far by any means. <laughs> that sound effect, that whoa, it's so funny every time. I can't help but think whenever there are these types of scenes in games or movies or anything like that, I always think back to Star Wars Episode 2, uh, Attack of the Clones. It's it's one of my favorite scenes in the Star Wars series. Now we got more people. Okay, what type of attackers do we have this time around? Is it a mix or a mix of ranged and, uh, you know, close quarters? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. All right. And honestly, it's not going to really change our strategy that much. We're still just going to run up, take one of them, and then run away. As they run away from us. After seeing one of their friends get picked up by a dinosaur and chomped on. Which is understandably frightening. Alright, only a couple left in this wave. So we'll do that. Oh, you know what? These guys remind me of minions. The sound effects, their appearance even, they remind me of minions. Oh, he's so cute though. 
got a bigger bone than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's still a bigger bone. If you saw bigger, you show him big bone. <laughs> <laughs> the innuendos in this game. All right, here's the big boss. It's time. Oh my giddy aunt, this is not good. Of course, classic conquer. It's got to be a fart joke. No, Mister the Big Buna, be a full I know you're not a vegetarian, but I think we should go for the meat and two veg. Looks like it needs a bit of tenderizing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the, the dinosaur nods. That's hilarious. All right. So the first thing I wanted to see was one. Um, oh, he jumps, and I'm shocked that that hit because that. You guys see that? It did not look at all. Is he gonna attack me? Do not tell me that I need to. Yikes, so there goes the dinosaur. Is he, like, belly dancing now? Or what? Wait, where did the dinosaur go? Okay. Oh, I don't need to... <laughs> so we narrowly avoid that by jumping on the dinosaur. What? What was that? I have no idea what just happened, but it's not the end of the world, I guess. Oh, it's a quake-type attack. That's what got me before. And that was another quake type attack. So that seems to be his thing. So we're gonna run away for now. It seems the dinosaur runs at us in order to be remounted. We don't actually need to go through the hypnosis again, which is lovely. The only thing is I need to find some chocolate before I can do anything substantial in this fight. Sorry, I don't know, Reptar. But I want to get some distance from this guy while trying to get the chocolate. I know I've already passed up the chocolate, but I don't want to ride. I don't want to mount Reptar. This is just what I'm going to name him for now. Um, while we're getting, you know, attacked. Like, look at that. First of all, he didn't move at all when getting when jumping. So there's, like, no aerial momentum. But now I guess we're okay. Jump. All right. So what I was thinking is, how do we attack him? How can we attack him? I don't know. Oh man, we're about to get clubbed. I was What I was trying to do before, for those of you that are curious, is to bait and attack and then run around behind him and attack him. But for the time being, I don't see much of a way to actually hit him. Which is a little bit concerning. Can we get chocolate while we're riding Reptar? We can. Lovely. And at the very least, we're moving quickly enough that he's not able to jump after us. Okay, so now we're back at full health. I do want to try running on the context sensitive button again, just to make sure that we're not missing out on anything. Now if I attack him, what happens? He does that attack. Now he should be vulnerable. Right? But I don't think that did anything. Run! Run! Oh my goodness. So there's got to be something else to do. The question is, what? Um, the only other thing I think of is, you know, something like taking his bone. So when he does the big bone attack, we run up and we, we take the bone from him. Because we, we got behind him and attacked him that way. With no... to no avail. Okay, so there was a bone swing. We want him to do that overhead attack, I think. There it is. Okay. Oh, wait. So that was not successful. He's doing that again. I would bet that we have to do, um, what's it called, like, uh, like some of the other big bosses. We might not actually have to attack so much as use a, um, context-sensitive button press when we get to a particular area. So, like, he might swing, and then we have to jump and hit B or something like that. 
but I don't know. Whoa. Not really seeing too many other opportunities to do anything else interesting. Because I can't, I can't even run off the edge with this guy. To try to interact with the lava or something. Hmm, what do we do? What do we do? I don't know. Okay, I thought that would fade earlier than it did, but the way that the the way that he you know runs after me to make sure I can mount him again makes me think that we definitely need to use him in order to get through this battle. But it's not apparent how, that's for sure. All right, come on over, Reptar. gonna swing so like that's the thing right whenever he does the swing he always takes a second and he's like wait where'd you go and I, so I'm fairly confident that that's something we need to take advantage of but I just don't see how yet we gotta bait him to swing the bone we can still headbutt him Trying to find us. It sounds like he's just protective of the bone, so I feel like we need to take the bone. Hmm. Yeah, at this point I might just look it up because I don't I don't know. I'm not getting any prompts for the context sensitive buttons. And I feel like I'm, you know, noticing some things. Is there a button that I'm just not aware of right now? Can I attack while I'm in the air? I feel like maybe... Like we sneak up on the bone or something like that. But that didn't work there. Oh, what? That counted as getting us? Oh. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause and look it up real quick, because at this point I'm just kinda getting bored. <laughs> okay, so So it seems like I need to try to get him to raise the bone over his head, and then while he's doing that, I need to uh do more of a frontal assault, I guess. Like like this? Not like that. And supposedly Reptar has a couple different attacks, so I mean we're gonna go around and, and get some chocolate while we can because we definitely need the health. But so the B attack is that, and supposedly there's a Z attack, which is not that. But maybe maybe there's di something different that I'm just not aware of. Oh, come on. So we're trying to get him to do that attack, but it's not like we can you know switch around really easily. I should, I should just not even try to jump with Reptar because I can't, I don't have zero aerial momentum and I can't change my course at all. Is he gonna raise over? Nope. Oh my goodness, changing directions with Reptar is so painful. We need to get him to do the, the attack where he raises the bone in front of him. And once he does that, we need to, uh, Oh, that was that was it. I think well that actually wasn't the typical over overhead attack. But I don't know, I guess we'll wait and see. Are you gonna do the attack? Yep. What? Was that too early? I guess so. As was that jump, right? <laughs> Alright, we'll ride Reptar again, and we'll get some more chocolate. All right, let's try this again. Yep, come on, come on, turn around, turn around. Oh, do you see that? I was facing away from him, so I tried to turn around, and it took like forever. Turn around, get him. Why does that not work? Okay, you're gonna do the attack. Yep, that time it worked. 
So we hit him in the nuts, and then, come on. No, no. Please. <sighs> I hit B, but we, well, we get him to bend over, and I guess his, his loin is dropped while that's going on. And we'll, we'll do this. Come on, turn around. So we take a huge chunk out of his, out of his butt cheek, I guess. And that is how we do damage to him. So there, now we can do it again. Let's line up decently. And we can get the right cheek there. And we presumably only have one more left. Yep, he's doing that attack. And a final hit. Well, I think this should be the final hit. Probably. What a funny animation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> really, Conkers? Uh-oh. <laughs> Big boner. <laughs> Yikes. And that's how we defeat him. Well, so ends another incident in my day. Yeah, you got quite the day going for you, Conker. I think we should go up there and pay those babes a visit. I mean, I'm pretty determined to get some of that out of this. Maybe there's some cash up there, too. Well, we live in hope. Right, you. I think this is where we say goodbye. Oh, <laughs> the music. That. Like I know we had a good time together, but the fun's over now. Go on, off with ya. That's it. Right. <laughs> Conquers like priorities. Hey, no, I. What are, you, what are you doing? Stop following me. Go back. No. Go on. Oh, listen. What? Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, well. Right. <laughs> conquer. <laughs> Typical conquer. Ah, good. Psychology. Always oh, works with these animals. Now then, let's see. Babe time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, conquer. Oh, conquer. So, how do we get up there? Doesn't look like there's anything other than this area over here. Which now has a platform, so this is presumably the way to go. Alright. Where will this take us? We'll probably just teleport us right up there. Yep. Babe. Where are those big babes? Huh? <sighs> Paradise. <laughs> Wait, what? She's a lot bigger than expected. Oh, you're so cute, though. Hello. Hello. I love you. No, no, love you no more. Script for Gia Jugger, no, no. What? No. No. We, we but Barry! Script for Gia break Jugger's heart. No, I'll, I'll be good. I'll be really good. I'll, I'll, I'll be a new squirrel. I won't, I'm out. The drink's out. Whatever you've heard about me, it's all. <laughs> no. Jugger put square fudgy here. Jugger not like goodbyes. But bye bye. You go. You go. <sighs> bye bye then. I love you always. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> what a short lived romance. <sighs> oh. 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 Every a silver lining. That's really funny, actually. Alright, well, we'll go and get this cash. Where Where is it? Hello? Cash, please? Is it over this way? Yeah, it's probably over this way. Right? Because this is where we... We could not access this place before. Where did that cash go? Here it is. Okay. Get... There we go. Ah, uh, now I know where we are. 
We viewed this place when we were initially talking yeah. to those two guards. I felt the smell where that came from. Okay. What an episode. What a roller coaster of an episode. At first, that rock solid club was really cool, awesome music, and then became an absolute pain to play through. And then we had the really funny moments with the mob boss and everything. And then the racing was actually pretty fun. And then we had the the Colosseum, which in and of itself was also really funny and everything, but then became a bit of a pain to play itself. So, anyways, I think that's a good place to call it for now. I don't know if there's much left to do in that world, honestly, I doubt it, but it was overall a pretty cool one. I really like the dinosaur theme, the prehistoric theme. And next up, we'll, we'll revisit some of the areas we've been to in the past and hopefully make some more progress on them. I hope you guys enjoyed that boss fight. I know this episode is probably edited to some degree with fast forwarding and maybe some cuts because I spent a little bit more time than I've liked on some aspects, but hope you guys enjoyed it all nonetheless. But until the next episode, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>